Coming up for all you food rangers, we're going right into the heart of the street food scene in Borneo, Malaysia. You can discover along with us all the unique specialties in Kuching in this street food video. If you like delicious street food, get ready, because we found some amazing stuff that you're going to love. Let's go. Check it out, it's Trevor James. I just got into Kuching, Borneo, Malaysia. I am so pumped because today we're gonna go for a big day of eating street food, local cuisine, and it's so beautiful here. Let's go check it out. This is Kuching. We flew from Saigon, Vietnam, all the way here just to taste the local specialties in Borneo. Here, you instantly feel the beauty and charm and peacefulness of this quiet city. Searching the streets, you can find a lot of unique street food. And for a first time visitor, you'll be blown away at the selection. Let's eat. Okay, right up here. I've been looking forward to trying this for so long. The reason we came to Borneo, Malaysia, the Sarawak Laksa. This is the king dish of Borneo. A must eat when you visit. The broth is made with a strong sambal and coconut milk with garlic, galangal, and lemongrass, giving you a mouthful of flavor that makes you never want to leave this food paradise. This is one of the must-eat dishes of the world. Topped with shrimp and chicken strips, you'll bask in the universe of flavor in every sip. Uh, you got, you got laksa. You got, you got dada. Okay, you got dada. Wow. Okay, wow. And xiangda. Ah. And xiangda. Okay. Oh, that broth. Look at this broth. That's the laksa broth, the Sarawak laksa broth. Oh, it's potent. Wow, you can really smell the curry aroma in there. And they're just loading it up with, you can see all the shrimp over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that fat shrimp. And dada. Oh, here comes the broth. Laksa, I've been looking forward to this for so long. Oh, that is thick. That smell. Oh yeah, garnish with cilantro. Nice. How? What? What's What's up? Thank you. Wow. Sarawak laksa. Nice. Oh man, look at those huge plump, plump shrimp. They've got shredded chicken, some cilantro, rice noodles, bean sprouts, and it's in that thick, thick laksa broth. That's gonna power the whole dish. Wow. First thing I wanna do is just get a bite of that fatty, huge, huge shrimp. And that's gonna have that laksa flavor on it. Oh. It's really nice. It has a strong curry flavor. It's quite salty. You can taste the shrimp essence infused into the broth. Oh yeah, look at that. The bean sprouts and the cilantro. Oh, it's fresh. For a pre-lunch snack, before we made our way out for a massive seafood feast and boat ride through the Borneo jungle, we made our way to try another iconic street food in Borneo, the kolo mi. It's an amazingly flavorful, springy noodle dish made with homemade cha xiao barbecue pork slices and ground pork. Tossed in a pork lard and shallot oil and topped with fried shallots, when you try it first, there's no going back. It's just too good. All right, so next up, we're going ranging for the classic noodle dish of Sarawak here in Borneo, the kolo mi. I'm pumped. Kaitur Iwan Kolomima. Oh, and Xiangda. Wow. Wow, this is the Kolomi. You can eat it for a year. Not for a year. Not for a year. Oh, it's still good. It's still good. You can eat the chasha. Uh, and uh, yeah, so mm. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow. Follow me. Whoa, look at this. That is the Kolo Mi. All of those springy egg noodles, ground pork, and then lots of roast pork over top. Oh, and he's just put us a light oil in there. I can oh I can really smell. I can really smell 
a huge fried shallot flavor. Oh yeah. It just, it honestly smells like, <laughs> like convenient noodles, but I got a feeling it's gonna be much better. Mmm. Wow, 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 those noodles, that flavor. It honestly tastes like a upgraded, fast, convenient noodle pack. That, that cha shao roast pork, I actually didn't bite it, but I can still taste a bit of that flavor on the noodles. It's slightly sweet. Bye-bye. Mm. <laughs> 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 that was delicious. We're just getting started. After those pre-lunch noodles, we took a ride out to Baco outside of Kuching, located alongside a beautiful river, to find a special seafood joint serving up a ton of unique and tasty seafood. Right on the river, with homemade style dishes only found in Borneo, you won't be able to stop eating these once you start. All right, here we are. Baco Seafood. Thank you. We got a couple of friends with us. Choo Choo. Hello. And Ping. Hi. This is going to be okay. an amazing feast. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome, Baco Seafood. We are in Baco National Park Village. We're going to try some local seafood. Awesome. Wow, what a monster seafood feast we have today. Oh, there's so many beautiful dishes. Look at this here. Oh yeah, this is this is the seafood bihun. Like Mishian, yeah, seafood rice noodle. There's clams, there's fish, all in a light, creamy, oh yeah, look at that. In a light, creamy tomato broth. Wow! Fish balls garnished with green onions. Oh, that looks so flavorful. And then over here, this is money thai. I think it's called in Malaysia. Money thai. It's actually just growing in their backyard here with some eggs. <laughs> Looks amazing. And then over here, look at this. Yeah, wow. These are the local prawns covered in, I think these are egg whites, garlic. Oh, chili and oh, and that sauce looks so flavorful. We have seafood tofu. I think this is like, yeah, fried tofu with seafood inside. Looks like there's some veg. Oh, beautiful. This is sweet potato leaves. Stir fried sweet potato leaves garnished with, with some shallots. And then look at this over here. Fried oysters. I think this is a, a fish sauce with some pepper and salt in there. Wow. <laughs> this was one of the most delicious seafood feasts ever. From the juicy fried oysters to the delicious prawns, we couldn't get enough. With so many different flavors to try, and right by the riverside, you gotta come out to eat here if you visit Borneo. Oh yeah, look at these. Oh, you can see all that fried breading over top of the oyster. There is gonna be a juicy, plump, fatty oyster inside there. Just dip it in this. I think this is a fish sauce. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. And juicy. And juicy. After finishing up that amazing feast, we flagged down one of the passing boats and took a ride to enjoy the local scenery. Awesome, we're gonna get a local boat tour. Oh, beautiful. So we're gonna explore around the backwaters here of Kuching after that delicious lunch. Wasn't that awesome? So cool. So cool. And this is our, that's where we just had lunch right there. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, so he's he's showing us this, these blue crabs that live on the shoreline here. And he's saying that if they develop this town, if it becomes too commercial or there's big industry here, these little crabs and the little fish that we're seeing on the shores will disappear. Oh, they're bright blue. Oh yeah. Oh, he just they just hide into the hole. After enjoying the boat ride and all the beautiful scenery, we made our way back to town to have our pre-dinner snack of chili crab. This city truly has it all. Well, that was an amazing seafood lunch. We're back in Kuching. 
We're gonna walk around, explore this beautiful city. It's so green everywhere we go. That was an amazing time on the boat. And now we're gonna head out and look for some dinner. Let's go. We got a bunch more food to eat. We're gonna go for a pre-dinner snack. It's gonna be delicious. We're going to Top Spot. Wow, yeah. look at these. So many types of seafood here. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna get a little pre-dinner crab snack here. Oh. Crabs, mantis shrimp, monsters. Wow. It's all here. It's all here. Maybe we should get a couple of these. Maybe we can just get some freshwater prawns and um, uh, crab. Can we get chili crab yeah. with chili and egg? Like chili a salty crab. egg. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Chili sauce with egg. Yeah, chili, chili sauce with egg. Chili crab, yes. That would be good. Yeah. Wow. For just a I'll snack. This one. You want to grill? Uh, grill or fry? Like pepper grill. sauce. Grill. With yeah. garlic or butter garlic? Butter, butter garlic, garlic, yes, butter garlic. please. Wow. Do you have the omelette? Yeah, oyster pancake. Yeah, oyster pancake. Yeah, and we'll get one of those too, please. Oh, it's beautiful. Like yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Wow. Look at that chili crab. Oh. Wow. We got one more coming. Big monster prawns. This is a little bit more than a snack. Yeah, this is a snack. I don't know how we're going for dinner after this. Oh, and here's the prawns. Wow. It's all here. Oh. Wow. Look at those beauties. Look at that, look at that. Oh wow, that butter. Look at the butter just crisped on there. It's like caramelized with huge, nice big chunks of garlic. Oh, that aroma. That aroma is so good. And then over here, we just got the chili crab. It's like in a thick, thick chili sauce. Look at that, wow. That just looks amazing. And then we've got some ferns cooked in a shrimp paste. Yeah, specialty ferns. And then here, this is the oyster omelet. Although I think it, it looks more like an oyster pancake. It looks more like a bing, like a flatbread with little little oysters in there. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Here, Ting. Wow. Look at that. Look at that giant prawn. Oh, the head butter there. And all that, that garlic and butter is caramelized on there. You just gotta peel that off. All that head butter. Don't let that go to waste. Oh, so juicy. It's awesome. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that butter flavor. It's really light, and buttery, and garlicky. You get that pure prawn flavor in each bite. Mm. Oh yeah. And there's all that head butter, you can just like suck that. Let's go, look at this, they just give you every piece of the crab. And you can just, I think honestly, I think honestly the best part is gonna be just sucking the sauce off and out of the body. Oh yeah, there's meat in there. There's definite chunks of meat in there. Oh, look how thick that sauce is. Mm. Oh. oh, it's like a sweet, it's like a sweet chili sauce. Kuching brings you dish after dish of joy. All the flavors we experienced were out of this world. And for our final meal, we made our way to try a famous kuei chop, a bowl packed with flat rice sheets served with pork, intestines, liver, and served in a rich, dark herbal broth. This is so flavorful and enjoyable. Oh yeah, look at this. Kuei chop, wow, look at all of this. Look at all the organs. It's like a big, it's like a dark soy sauce soup that they pour a bunch of different organs. They got chicken feet, pig skin, 
tofu. They've got intestine. Oh, pork belly. Braised eggs. Oh yeah, roast pork. It's all here. Oh, quite chop. Nice. Oh wow, look at that. Quay chop. Wow, that is a massive plate of goodies. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So look, it is packed with goodies. Oh yeah, tofu. I think it's covered in, in fried shallots. Oh, and he's bringing this. I think that's like a, a, a meat ground pork roll. Oh, wow. Look at this. Wow, doesn't that look amazing? Choo choo, what's this? Blood cubes. Choo choo's favorite. <laughs> Chicken feet. Oh, wow. And this is all in that rich, dark soy sauce based broth. Oh, pork belly. Oh, so much pork. Look Lots at that. Oh, wow. And, and they have a pig stomach. Pig stomach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pig stomach. stomach where's, is my favorite. where's the intestine? Mm -hmm. I, I do. No, intestine. no intestine. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. We'll have to skip the intestine. Oh, mi fen. And it's in that rich sauce that was just bubbling over there at the counter. Wow. Sauce. I'll pay oh yeah, beautiful. Like fatty rice noodles. Fatty rice noodles in that rich sauce. Mm. Oh. oh, it's really rich. That dark soy sauce, a little sweet, yeah. And it's actually not very salty. It's it's just rich and flavorful and wholesome. Yeah, no. That was so good. Yeah, okay. How long have you been open here? Four generations. Four generations? 120 years. Whoa. 120 <laughs> yes, years. Yes. From my, my husband, grandfather, and his father, and my husband and my son. Passed to my son. Wow, yeah. that's an amazing story. Yes. And the yes. flavor is, you can tell, it yeah, has a long yeah, history. Yeah. Very nice. That was a delicious feast. Uh, thank you so yeah. much. That was really good. So you guys gotta check out Choo Choo's Instagram, my Instagram, and Ting Ting's Instagram. I'm gonna put them all in the description below. You can click that subscribe button and click the little bell button so you can get instant notifications whenever we publish a deep street food tour just like this one. Thank you so much for watching. You. And you can click right over here to watch one of my best street food tour playlists. You can watch lots of street food for hours. Thanks so much, guys. It was a great day in Kuching. Yeah, awesome day.